My oldest son and I have set aside three days to go winter camping in Algonquin Park. We hope to spend our days looking for moose and wolves, or frankly anything else that might show up. Okay, we have one boiling now. I'm going to wait a few more minutes for this to boil so that way I can kill all the bacteria in this in this lake water. It's really important to uh, carry enough water with you and if you can't carry enough water with you, you you're going to have to boil uh, you know the uh, the snow or you what's really handy is it's a lot easier if you have a lake close by and we always carry a bunch of bottles with us. Nalgene works really well. Um, you can heat, you can put boiling water in this, you can stick it in your sleeping bag. Hey, okay. I think this has been boiling long enough now. There's a little bit of waste here. I want to clean out all the ice. It takes just a second at minus 10 to freeze this.
already freezing. What I also have is this handy dandy little insulated bottle I can add, oh, that I can put this in and that'll keep it warm if I need it for something later or just stop it from freezing. had a pine martin hanging around the the base camp here for a couple of days and uh, you can hear him rummaging around I think I just saw him he's uh, he's he's trying to take from our cache and build his cache well, that's what I'm gonna try to do today is before we head back out is to uh, is to try to get some shots of him. Got a few hours. There, there seem to be more active in the mornings and the evenings. Although, yeah, I've seen them in the middle of the day as well. inches of snow last night which is great for tracking it's also really actually it's, I think it's pretty good for pulling the sleighs I think it acts as a bit of a, a lubricant makes them easier to pull especially what we have to go through I mean we're so far off the beaten trail and we're going over trees and all kinds of stuff spare batteries inside my pockets to keep them warm. You know, I couldn't bring too much camera gear because we're it's 
it's such a far hike to get to where we are, I decided just to go with a, 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 a this is a 120 to 300, 2.8. Because when if you if you see a moose in here, it's going to be close quarters. I mean, you just don't need a 500 millimeter lens for that. If you see a wolf, it could be out in the lake. So I have a crop sensor camera. Um, so it's uh, it's it's hard to pick one lens to do all of this. You know, I, I want a 2.8 for the to soften the backgrounds. getting too old for this stuff. <laughs> I've uh, been chasing this pine martin around now for about an hour trying to capture some images and a little bit of video but they are so agile and so fast. The pine martin or the American martin or just the martin which is commonly known as is uh, it's not a very big animal it's 56 to like 63 centimeters long it weighs like 1.4, 1.5 kilograms, I think an adult does. Um, they're beautiful looking. They have a beautiful coat. They come in different colors. I've seen them in chocolate color and uh, in a very light colored, you know, with almost like a, 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 a caramel colored chest on them. They're just uh, so many beautiful colors. And, uh, and unfortunately, they're disappearing. They... Uh, Due to habitat loss, they uh, they they live in boreal forests and uh, you know uh, coniferous trees, and, and that's where the red squirrel lives. Along you know the different mice mice that they eat, they're they are carnivores, so it's I mean possibly rabbits too, um, birds eggs and stuff. And I think they might eat some berries. I can tell you for sure they eat granola bars because they eat. They ate my granola bar yesterday. So, uh, so I've had a, uh, I've had a lot of fun doing this and I got actually a pretty good video of, uh, of him up in a tree branch and I'll show that to you. that's about as good as I got as far as video goes I know it's not fantastic but it's trust me that was really hard to get they uh, they don't sit still for long got a couple nice images too um, hopefully I'll know that when I get back home again but I know I better help my uh, my son he's he's tearing down camp right now and I've been 
doing this for an hour, so he's probably not happy. But I say I have really enjoyed spending the past three days with him. We've been, uh, we've been tracking moose and, and wolves. We've seen tracks from moose and wolves, and we follow some otter tracks that wore us right out yesterday. Uh, none of it produced anything other than a rough grouse. We saw that and a couple of woodpeckers, but uh, the Pine Martin was the uh, was the uh, best part and it was the very end of the trip.